It is a dance of sacrifice and a renewal. The Rite of Spring, one of the greatest musical works of the 20th century, and one of the most recorded in the classical repertoire. At the 2019 Edinburgh International Festival, China's Yang Liping made her debut with a new interpretation of the classical work, inspired from traditional Tibetan culture. But this time, although it is a The production incorporates a lot of Chinese ethnic culture, especially Tibetan Buddhism and Tibetan culture. We use not only ballet but body language as well. For instance, Tara represents release from suffering, redemption, sacrifice, and rebirth. This one-hour full-length production used Stravinsky's original music with new score by Chinese composer He Xuntian, influenced by traditional Tibetan music. It is the first time that Yang Liping performed at the Edinburgh International Festival. The tickets were sold out very quickly, and the performance was a huge success. I've lived in Edinburgh since for 35 years, and this is one of the most amazing shows I have ever seen. It just touched me at every single level. Everything was brilliant: the the, the dance, the choreography, the stage、um, direction. The it was just. Mind-blowing. The piece was co-produced by a number of major international festivals and expected to tour around the world. It's been a wonderful experience working with Peacock Dance Company and a whole range of promoters around the world. And it's a tribute to just how highly thought of Yang Liping is now. She is she is a major figure in world dance, and this is a co-production with London, with Toronto, with Melbourne,、um, and, and a real example of how. Festivals and promoters from around the world can can come together to to help create a work of of real significance. Yang Liping hopes the collaboration can help the production enter the international stage and promote understanding between West and East. Zhang He, CGTN, Edinburgh.